Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I'm going to be bringing you a layered paper pirate ship. So let's get on with it. I went to this to Design Space, and this was on the home page, and I uh, didn't customize it or anything. I just made it as is. So there's about five layers, I think it is, of this, and I am using some foam tape and I'll tell you more about that later so I'm putting it along the edges of the second piece the first piece is the lighter blue piece and so you want to do your pieces in order from bottom to top so there's the foam pieces that I'm going to be using all of them I got from Dollar Tree except for the uh, round dots and I'm not sure where I got those from so I'm just taking the uh, foam tape and putting it along the edges of my second layer. And if you get your stuck like I got mine stuck here, you need to be careful getting it apart or else you could rip it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm using the thinner um, foam tape on this one. It comes in three sizes. It is from the Dollar Tree and it is in the crafting section. Now I'm using this wider piece here at the bottom because um, it's a bigger area. So again, they have three sizes, a real narrow a medium and then a wider piece. This is the widest piece. So that's all I need for this layer. And I'm just going to peel the backing off and add it to my first layer. So I think this was a new design on Design Space. I'm not sure. But uh, when I opened my Design Space the other day, it was uh, it was on the front page. And I was like, oh, wow, I think I want to make that. And the way I'm going to put this on is I'm going to line up the bottom edges of the two sheets. So I'm just using regular uh, 12 by 12 card stock that I had to make these. These were papers that were in a booklet, I guess. Okay, so those are the first two layers. It's looking pretty good. So now we're going to work on our third layer. And with this piece, I'm using the rectangles that are already cut. And I got these, it's kind of in the automotive section where they have um, the hangers for wall decor. So I just got a package of that. And it has quite a bit, quite a bit on it. So I have the little itty bitty tiny squares, which are in the craft section, uh, these rolls, which were in the craft section, and then these rectangles that were in the um, kind of by the automotive section.
So I go around the edges again with the uh, tape and then I uh, put the rectangles on wherever I think they need to go. Put the wider piece at the bottom because there's enough room. Just going to peel the backing off and then we'll line it up. Again, I line it up at the bottom. And if you get that lined up right, then the rest of it <clears throat> should go down where it needs to go. But you want to make sure you have it on straight. So just take your time with it. And there's our third layer. Starting to look like a ship. Now we're going to work on the fourth layer. Again, I'm going to start out with these uh, smaller rectangles. You don't want your foam pieces to show through your design. This narrow um, foam tape is really good for um, the frame. I mean, it fits perfectly, not too wide at all. This might make a nice birthday present for um, a boy or a man. I mean, who doesn't like a pirate ship, right? What male doesn't? I don't know. I think they all would like it. So I'm putting the wider piece again at the bottom because there's enough room. Gonna peel off the back and then we'll place it down. Make sure you line up the bottom edges. And if you get those edges done, the rest of it should lay where it needs to go. Now I did notice up under uh, part of the ship's sail there that these foam pieces were a little thin. So I'm going to use these round foam pieces on those. They're probably double the thickness. Pretty thick. And I have no idea where I got these. I've had them for years and years. So I'm going to replace those other ones with these.
and there's our fourth layer. And now on to the fifth layer. Now, as you can see, I have the paper backwards there. That's not right. I don't notice it until later. Duh. I flip it over and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the right side. <laughs> so there it is. Need to figure out where I need to place my dots. Yeah, I'm just going to cut these in half. You can do that with your foam if it's a little bit too big, just cut it. Now I ran out of the uh, thinner foam uh, strips, so I'm taking the larger one and cutting it in half lengthwise so that it'll work along the uh, frame edges. So let me know if you've ever made any of these layered projects. And put it in the comments, please. I mean, since I've been doing these, I really like them. So you're probably going to be seeing more from me. I have a ton of scrapbook paper from back when I was scrapbooking. So... I only have to buy more foam. I have everything else, basically. So they have several designs in Design Space that you can layer. I've done a unicorn out in the forest. Of course, now I'm doing the pirate ship. What else have I done? Some cards. Oh, I did a frog for my daughter-in-law for her birthday. It turned out great. So I'm going to get another one of these uh, thicker rounds for that sail at the top. It's just not, it, it, it needs a foam piece behind it. Put one on the other side too. And there's our fifth layer. Doesn't that look awesome? Now I have this uh, box that I got from the Dollar Tree after Christmas. It was 50% off. So I got it for $2.50. And um, I'm going to put the... Uh, pirate ship 
layered project inside of it. And I'm going to use some tumbling tower blocks to hold it up. So I'm going to double layer the tumbling tower blocks. Of course, you all know those come from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I think that's a good height right there. So I'm just going to use some of this wood glue and it comes from the Dollar Tree also and I'm going to take several of these blocks and glue them two together on top of each other. So once I get all of those glued together, I am going to put them on the back of the card we just, or the pirate ship we just made. And I'm just going to use the wood glue for that also. So you want to make sure that you're not putting it on the cutouts. So you want to make sure it's in between them. Now, once that's dry, um, I'm going to take these fairy lights that I got off of Amazon, and I do have the link in my description box. And I'm going to just uh, start wrapping those around the blocks. So I wrap them around the blocks a couple of times each. And um, to these fairy lights, you get them from Amazon. I think like I got 30 in a box. They end up being like <clears throat> 90 cents each or something like that. Anyway, a whole lot cheaper than getting any of them from the Dollar Tree. Plus, they have that little uh, round battery in them. And it's it already comes with a battery. You don't have to buy it. And it's small. So uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space or anything like that. And I find it works a whole lot better than the ones that you can get from the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree is not always the cheapest place to get crafting items. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. So I had to take some of these loose and kind of rewrap it a little bit. And you can see how small the battery thing is. It's that little white thing there. See that? That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off here a little bit still daylight so you're not going to be able to see it too well but you can kind of see it a little bit i guess 
But anyway, we're going to continue on and um, we want to make sure that our lights stay in place, especially up there where the battery pack is. So I'm just taking some masking tape and I'm just going to put it in a couple of places. And you want to make sure you don't get your masking tape over uh, the clouds there where it's cut through because you don't want to see it. And now I'm just going to take my uh, wood glue, put it on the bottom of my um, tumbling tower blocks, and then I'll add it to my frame. And I think this frame is like a I don't know, a 10 by 10 or maybe a 12 by 12. I'm not quite sure. But see the white thing there? That's the battery pack. And like I say, they come with a battery anyway. So that's way cheaper than Dollar Tree. So I do have those linked in the description box. Now I'm just going to take a piece of double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on uh, the bottom of the battery pack. And I want to make sure that when I do that, I put the screws on the top side. That way, if anybody needs to change out the battery, they can just do it there on the top side. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of jute here. I'm going to put a knot on either side of it. And then I'm going to take my staple gun and staple it to make a hanger. Guess that angle wasn't good, so I need to turn it around. <clears throat> okay, now that the hanger is on, this project is complete. See that with the lights on? Nice, it looks nice in the dark. So there it is, hanging on my wall. What do you guys think? Would you make something like this? And here's the two pictures of it, the one without the lights on and the one with the lights on, which you can't see too well because it was pretty dark. But again, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you have, thank you very much for doing that. And if you like what you see, uh, you can give me a thumbs up, and you can uh, send others my uh, videos. Thank you.